welcome back once again so today in this video we'll be talking about profiling java applications so in coming slides we're going to see what we mean by profiling an application and in the same slides we'll also talk about how a profiling will help an application developer to develop a better applications so profiling is a, a part of a software development uh, cycle wherein after proper requirement analysis design testing and after QA before the product is delivered sometimes the application is profiled to make sure it performs as per the set criteria and the set requirement specifications so let us see how to profile in a Java application so what we have uh, in this video as a learning outcome is to make sure that uh, once the student goes through this video student will be able to profile a Java application using JFR so what is JFR? A JFR is Java Flight Recorder. It's an inbuilt profiling tool provided to us by Oracle. So in the coming process, we'll be seeing like how to make sure the JF Flight Recorder is launched, what we need to take care while launching the JFR Recorder, and uh, is it free? Is it open source? Is it available to all? We all will be discussing in the coming slides. Okay. So let us move ahead to have a small hands-on in which we will be profiling a small Java application. So we'll discuss what, what type of code we are also profiling. Okay, fine. So what is an applica application profiling in general? So an application profiling is nothing but it's a form of a dynamic program analysis, which usually measures what, what we do in profiling here. It is very important to note that profiling is far more different from testing. Testing ensures that it functions as per what it is expected to function. But in a profiling, it's all a dynamic process. What we, uh, what a person who does profiling of an application is more interested is, is he's more interested in knowing the total memory uses of that application, the CPU uses of that application, and the uses of instructions, like what type of instruction the user is using, or what type of instruction the program is more spending time in executing. So these uh, steps form very important process while profiling application because sometime as a developer, I would uh, be discouraged from using a deprecated instructions. And if in case some, in some cases, I still tend to use them. But during profiling, if I find the deprecated instructions are the one which are consuming more time in ex exact program execution, what we do is we'll try to uh, find out an alternative for that. So profiling also lets me have a proper analysis of uses of instruction. And at the end, it also lets me profile an actual time spent by my program in calling methods and uh, how much time in each method is consuming and how much uh, time uh, does method consume after five iterations, after 10 iterations. So I can do in a complete analysis of method call during runtime process. Okay, so we all will see like how to explore the profiling feature provided to us by Oracle. Okay, so let us see a hands on. So in the coming uh, part of the video, what we'll be doing is we'll doing a small hands on in which we'll be profiling a Java application. So prerequisite to this video uh, is to make sure that you know the fundamentals of Java language. It's uh, make sure that you have JDK 8 and Java flight recorder installed on your system. And it, it would be always better if we have an Eclipse ID of higher version 5.4.5 or higher, because we'll be writing our code in Eclipse to save our time. So for our ease of use, what I have done, I have already, uh, I already have a, a video here, wherein what I'm using is I have an Eclipse ID where I already wrote a code. So for example, uh, we are going to profile the following code, which right now it is uh, appearing on your screen. So what this code is doing, let us first analyze what this code is doing. The code is trying to sort an array of integers. And we all know that arrays.sort method uses a pivotal, dual pivotal quicksort algorithm. And as per the standard analysis of uh, algorithms, what we know is that quicksort performs worst when we ask it to sort a numbers which are already sorted. So it's a worst case for quicksort. So we're gonna see like how, uh, is it is it the really a case like we can monitor that quicksort is uh, consuming more cpu cycles when we ask it to sort a uh, random series of integers or a sorted series of integers so let us see here so i'll quickly explain this program and then i'll let you know how to enable a profiling while executing this program so it's a stepwise process so what this process is doing it is first asking user to who 
hit so i have a few uh, uh, hit key based uh, stops in my program because i want to execute my program only when my flight recording system is live so in order to make sure that my code exactly runs during the window of flight recording i have enabled a uh, scan from a user so if i hit it starts and at the end of this program what i find is here if i hit a key it will end now what i'm doing is uh, i will run flight recorder for a duration of say 60 or 120 seconds because i know that this program can uh, work so i'm going to give an input which at max the program can sort it in the time frame of 60 to 120 seconds so given that this program will be first compiling it and then while running this application we will enable java flight recorder and once we enable java flight recorder we'll get a jfr file which ends with an extension dot jfr and with the help of java mission control and the flight recorder in the mission control window we'll be exploring that and we'll see what exactly are being profiled in my java profilers flight recordings okay let us do that so in order to execute this code i am moving to a command prompt wherein i'll command i'll uh, type the co compile this program so i am in the exact directory where my main.java program is there so i have compiled it okay so now i need to run this now before i run this application you need to make sure this application will be profiled so there is a special way to run this application it's not like a directly java execute main so how it works is i have already uh, kept my commands ready so this is how you're going to execute this program for example here my program name is main and my first argument is the length of array which my program will be sorting and in what mode the uh, 20,000 numbers would be inserted in the array. So if you go back to your code, if it is sorted, it puts number in increasing order. So probably it should consume more CPU cycles uh, when we analyze the flight recordings. So going back, I'll run this application. And after running this application, before you run, this is a command which uh, starts flight recording. So in order to make sure it runs, here you have to always insert the process ID. So the process ID is obtained by executor command JPS. So on a one command prompt, we will execute this command and I'll just stop, pause the program and I'll execute only when I have initiated this command. Okay. So you observe the sequence uh, that would explain how I'm recording the flight recording. So I've copied this command and let me execute it. Let me paste it here. Okay. So now I want this to execute. Yes. Now it is executing, but I have not initiated the sort code as of now. It is just waiting for a, a key to run that arrays.sort uh, code in that code. So now before I run this, I need to make sure that here, so I've opened another command prompt in the same, and here I'm gonna enable my uh, flight recording session. So you need to make sure that my class name is main, note down the, pro, the process ID, the process ID is 7316. So I'll note down this 7316, okay, 7316. I'll note down this in the command and then I'll execute that command and I have to wait for 7316, am I right? Okay, 7316, fine. Now I'll be running this command. So I'll copy this and what I'll do is, instead of 120 seconds, I'll ask it to just record it for uh, 50 seconds so I'm sure that the uh, my array dot sort works in 50 seconds so here in the window here the code is running okay and here I'll hit this uh, flight recording command okay so let me see it has to paste it first I think I'm an in insert I need to paste that command yes so it is running now so while it is running I'll go back to command prompt and I start I'll start hit enter so now it is running it is already run and make sure uh, you don't exit before the seconds of 50 seconds you should not exit before this else your flight recording file will be corrupted so what I'll do I'll wait for 50 seconds okay I think it's almost 50 seconds now now during this what I can do is I can start my Java mission control so I'll type JMC it opens the Java mission control window so 
so it opens that and it also generates a source file of your sorted recording so let me make sure it allow access so this is the jmc so this is mission control and here is your flight recording close this you will have a flight ring so this is the main the, the process which I have recorded so now if you expand this allow access okay it, it asks me to browse a recording file what I can do is I can even open that uh, recording file for directly from here so this is the sorted the code which I asked you to open so now now this is a code now you can see that at max it assumed the 30 seconds here so you can see that it also took 50 seconds so you can decrease the increase in this so you can find that here is where it consumed more at the same time it also lets you uh, consume more number of memory what what has been observed how much memory it is capturing you can also see like what were the uh, the methods which were most responsible okay so we have thread we have uh, main loop and we have events responses and queues as well here so this is how we generally profile in uh, machine application and while profiling you have to always make sure that uh, you properly execute the commands okay. so what have you seen we have seen a quick and a short way to profile a java application and to profile a java application we have used the inbuilt java flight recording sessions and as a further reading i would suggest you to go through the link where you will get the uh, open source profilers in java and explore it so that you can explore more number of uh, profilers available out in market and these are always open source okay so these are the differences and hope this uh, video helps you in profiling java application thank you